The FDA approved the first medicine made from marijuana. Doc Siegel is with us. This is a drug to treat childhood epilepsy. Does it work? It's fantastic. It's called Epid Epidiolex. It's made by GW Research LTD. It's revolutionary because it's the first time that FDA has ever approved a marijuana derivative type of drug. And you know what? We're talking about young children here that have a condition called Dravid or right. Lennox Gestalt. Th these are very severe seizure conditions in early childhood, one of them less than one year old. Oh. Febrile seizures, and then they go on to developmental problems and they go on to have muscular problems. And this works. This works in conjunction with other treatments. I'm very excited about this. This will lead the FDA to change how CBD or cannabidiol is listed by the DEA so that it's less restricted. This is the first medical use for marijuana derivative drug. And again, this isn't the kind of, of compound that causes you to get high or okay. anything. Right. It's, it's part of the marijuana plant. It doesn't cause you to get high, but it has definite med medicinal uses to decrease seizures. I'm very excited about and this. And so you should be, because how on earth can you oppose something that it doesn't get you high, it just uses a different part of the plant? And What's helps wrong with young that? And helps children. kids, of course. Here's We're one for trouble. you. New York State's Medicaid program, there's a new drug to treat cystic fibrosis. The Medicaid program says it's not that effective and it's too highly priced. They'll cover it if you get the price down. And the price is $272,000 per year. What says Doc Siegel? I see both sides of this argument. I love the fact that the Trump administration is trying to push down drug prices, especially when it comes to Medicaid. They've already forced a 23% discount under federal law. But now New York State is saying, you're th the 30 most expensive drugs, we're going to force you to discount further. This is the only drug company, Vertex, which is saying, we're not complying. But here's the other side of it, Stuart. This is a revolutionary treatment. We're talking about genetic treatments here. Cystic fibrosis patients only usually live to around 40 years old. Now they have a genetic treatment, and, and Vertex has a new one coming out that's even better, where we treat the genetic abnormality. So it's hard to say that this shouldn't be covered. So I see both sides of this. Get the price lower, because Vertex is, I don't believe, going out of business anytime soon. Get the price lower. Yes, negotiate this. Yes, a discount on this outrageously priced drug, but it must be covered by Medicaid. But why should a drug company go into the business of making these, this kind of drug if they can't get their profit out of it, if we've got people saying it's too highly priced, regardless of their R&D costs, their liability costs? Why should they go into that business of making these drugs? Great question, and this is why you went to the London School of Economics. Uh, so the, an the answer is that they have the market on this. This Vertex has all this. They're a niche drug company for cystic fibrosis drugs. They're going to make money one way or the other. Of their three drugs, this is the one that works the least. I'm fine with Medicaid pressuring them a little bit. Why not... is it $270,000 a year? Why? Well, they're going to say it's R&D costs because it's a billion dollars to make this drug, and it's only 30,000 cystic fibrosis patients and in the country. And you're forgetting the lawyers. The lawyers will go after every well, that's what you always say. So, they always do. So here come the lawyers, and then no one makes a profit, except no. the lawyers. Here come the lawyers, and the price goes up. That's what happens. So that's one thing. And the other thing is they're saying cost of R&D. I'm not really buying that. I want them to give more of a discount here. They'll get a good PR out of it, too. You know, look at these... P look at these poor patients with cystic fibrosis yeah, that have too much respiratory secretions. Yeah. This, these drugs are life-saving. Okay. Uh, good debate, though. Very good. I debate. like both sides. I want the prices lower. I think Trump's doing a good job trying to get the prices down. Okay, last word. And thank FDA. You. Thank okay. you, Doctor. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, okay. the good stuff.